Good morning everyone, it's Farmer Hannah here at Bockett's Farm. Welcome back to our farmyard classroom. Now I have absolutely loved seeing all of your uploads of the drawings you did of the life cycle of a chicken. I am very impressed. So today we thought we'd teach you a little more about some of the other animals at the farm. Now there is one animal in particular that we have lots and lots of at Bockett's Farm. Do you know what they are? Sheep. That's right, we do have a lot of sheep. We have about 380 ewes, that's a mummy sheep. So we thought it'd be lovely to teach you guys a bit more about what we do with sheep at Bockett's Farm. Should we go meet some? Come on, follow me. So you might like to follow along at home today with your animal fact sheets. Test each other, test your family, and I'll be asking some questions at the end to see whether you've remembered for those key bits of information. Now, here we are up at the Animal Discovery Barn. As you can see, I'm surrounded by some of our wonderful sheep. Now, there are over 900 different breeds of sheep around the world. Some big ones, some small ones, some white ones, some black ones, some with lots of fleece and some with not much fleece. Now, we've got a big range of sheep at Bockett's Farm. These ones behind me are all ewes. These are mummy sheep who are about to give birth. So a mummy sheep is called a ewe. Do you know what a daddy sheep is called? That's right, a ram. And then a baby sheep, what are they called? A lamb, well done. And I thought it might be nice if we could go and meet some of our lambs a little later on. What do you reckon? I thought so too. Come on, let's go and explore. a big group of sheep. Now do you know what a group of sheep is called? It's called a flock. Now sheep naturally want to stay together in that group and actually that helps the farmers yeah. moving the sheep from one field to another. Yeah. Now do you know what the farmer uses to help move his sheep? That's right, a sheepdog. You may yeah. have seen Louie, our sheepdog, on some of the videos with Martin out and about on the farm. He does a fantastic job of helping him. Now, fun fact for you. Did you know that sheep are fully grown by the age of two years old? Can you imagine being the same size as your grown-ups at age two? That's quite something. Come on, let's go find out some more. We as farmers have a very important role to play and we have to make sure that all of our animals are really well fed. Now, out in the fields, the sheep would like to normally eat grass, but obviously in the barn, there's no grass. So what do we give them? Hay. Now, do you know what hay is? Hay is where the farmer has let the grass grow nice and long in the fields and in the summer, he cuts it down he leaves it on the ground under the sun to dry out and then he'll bale it up and bring it in for the animals. So it's got all the goodness of grass, but instead of being out in the fields, it's here in the barn and the, the sheep love it. So as well as the hay, we also feed them something called sheep nuts. Can you see this? This is all full of the goodness that they need to grow healthy and strong. And we feed them twice a day at breakfast and at dinner. Now out in the fields, they would eat grass all day long. That's because sheep are grazers. They also just eat plants. So do you know what an animal's called that just eat plants? They're called herbivores. Can you say that with me? Herbivore. It's a very long word and something of quite a mouthful that you could impress your friends with at home. So as well as food, sheep also need air and water, just like we do to survive. When the weather gets warmer, there's something else we have to do with our sheep. Now in the summer months, can you see this thick fleece? Their wool gets so hot for them that we shear it off. So we shear it and this is the lovely fleece that we're then left with. We sell this at market 
for it then to be spun and turned into fibres to make lovely warm clothes for us. So your woolly hats, your scarves, your gloves and your jumpers, that all started as sheep fleece just like this. Now don't worry because by the time the winter comes around they'll have grown a completely new brand new fleece. Sheep are pregnant for 145 days and in that time it's someone's special job to take a scan of each of the ewes so we can see how many lambs they're expecting. Now when we scan the sheep we then give them a little coloured dot on their backs and each colour represents a different amount of lambs. So if you see a sheep with a blue dot in the middle of their back, that means they're having one lamb. If they have a green dot in the middle of the back, they're having twins, two lambs. And an orange dot means they're having triplets or three lambs. So we'll take a look around and see what we can find. Come on. So I said I would introduce you to one of our little lambs and I'm here he is, he was born a couple of days ago, absolutely gorgeous. Now mum is doing a great job at looking after him. He's full of milk, he's got a big, big full belly. He's gonna grow up nice and big and strong. And they're gonna be in the individual pen together for the next day or so. Then they'll go into the muddle up, which is where all the ewes and the newborn lambs mix together. And after about a week, they'll head out into the field in their new flocks to play and frolic together. It's gorgeous. So just to recap then what we've covered in this video, have a little think, it's quiz time. What do you call a mummy sheep? What do you call a baby sheep? What do the sheep eat when they're out in the fields? And then what do they eat when they come into the barn here. And do you remember that long word that we call animals that only eat plants? Have a think and test each other at home. And maybe get creative and have a go at drawing a lovely little lamb. You all did such a great job with your life cycles of a chicken. I would love to see what you can do with one of these guys. So until next time, I'll say goodbye. Bye everyone!